Welcome, I'm Steven, this is Steve, and this is Cherry Knoll Whiskey Reviews. Today, we'll be looking at the Penelope Architect. This one is a slightly lower proof than the Toasted series and their standard barrel strength. So I think those ones were in the 115 range, while this one is still fairly high, but it's more like a, what, 104. 104. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Great, another uh, plastic. A seal you have to crack. Yeah. He's really good at these. This one's going to give me just as much trouble as the... What you don't see is that he has a knife about six inches off camera. Well, that knife is just for making pretty cuts on the tape on the yeah. top. Yep. I agree. This way, when it's on the shelf, you can line it up. Right. And it still looks really pretty. It still looks pretty. I don't put that much care into no? my... Uh, my look display my display i don't really have much of a display but it's very simple the one that i do have so uh well as soon as i finish my edition with my office and my kind That'd of be cool whiskey cabinet that i plan to put in there hopefully i will have a little bit of a display definitely a completely different nose yeah. than the yeah. Toasted series and their standard four grain barrel strength. Totally different. I don't want to pull away as soon as I sniff. It's right. uh, it's clearly not as, as harsh and as strong. Yeah, that, uh, that 14 proof reduction in it uh, takes that bite from the nose away a mm -hmm. little bit. But uh, it does have... Or 11 proof for those who are good at math. Right. Slightly uh, softer nosing notes. Yeah. It's it's not the huge, like, oh, this is caramel or uh, <clears throat> sugary sweetness or something like that. These are a little bit more floral mm -hmm. notes. I was going to say, I get, I get kind of like a some sort of flowery type gardeny smell to it yeah it's uh like a a sweet but definitely floral forward like a field of daisies that you can also smell the worms in you know i think you're getting more uh earthy notes than i am on that <laughs> can't quite smell the worms if you can smell the worms in your whiskey it's probably Probably I thought a, that was probably tequila. Not a good thing. Tequila? Yeah, the worm at the bottom. Oh, the, of the worm glass. in the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Isn't there like a pinky toe too, or something like that? Like I don't know. Some there's... something back in the day. There, I could be totally wrong, but I feel like there was something back in the day where, like, I don't know. Or like, there's a bar somewhere that does a shot of tequila with a pinky toe in it, or something. I've heard of, really uh, yeah, you know, scorpions and things like that. But yeah. Never a pinky toe. Hmm. Who's given up all these pinky toes? I think it's one pinky toe though. It's like it's oh, like it it's like fifty dollars for a shot of tequila with this single pinky toe. I could be totally making this up. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm right. I, I'm not sure I would want to be drinking a glass with someone's toes in it. <laughs> uh, as as this starts to open up. I am definitely getting more uh, creamy, sweet notes. Mm -hmm. you know, I think uh, not diving into this right away is somewhat helping in yeah. laying it open up. I haven't taken a sip yet. Right. Okay, give it, it. give it a little bit of time. Let it, let it chill. What do you think of the smell now that it's had a chance to chill? So now that it starts to Relax. open up, it the aroma has gotten stronger. Like I'm able to smell more. Yeah. Uh, my first 
my first nosing of it, I feel like I really stuck my nose in there hunting for something while now, now I'm getting like a, a sweet, creamy, you know, almost going back to, uh, the creme brulee, creme brulee, which I screwed up the first time creme I said that too. Uh, the uh, worms have gone away. Yeah, the earthy tones. Yeah, yeah. It's it doesn't smell dirty anymore. It it's it's just kind of that flowery, sweet. Smell. Yeah, uh, you know, some with a lot of wines, you can get somewhat uh, floral notes with wines, and having uh, French staves mm. that, you know, I'm not sure if they say exactly which, uh, wines were in the staves that they're using, but, you know, you can definitely kind of get hints of kind of sweet wine type flavors. Yeah. But yeah. I'd agree with that. I think I'm going in. It's interesting. A lot of, a lot of oak up front. Yeah. Like the, it's a overwhelming new oak flavor. Yeah. Which I never really knew what that tasted like until, until I feel like recently. Like I always kind of just faked it and said like, oh yeah, definitely. That, that, that totally tastes like the newest of oaks. <laughs> um, but I've, I've, I've learned, I've learned recently what that actually tastes like and what taste I should be pulling out from that. And yeah, that's, that's it. like, that's it. <laughs> like, that's, that's, yeah, that's really good. Uh, kind of following on the coattails of that new oak, you get some, some like vanilla extract. It's not quite mm -hmm. that like sweet vanilla like a, a candied vanilla it's not that it's more like the extract where it's it's a very pungent and strong vanilla which then kind of fades into uh, a little bit more sweetness mm -hmm. so you know when you take that dropper of vanilla extract and drop it in the first thing you get is like that strong oil smell and then it kind of gives way into the sweet aromas of vanilla and i feel like the tasting notes after the oak was that like oh someone just put a drop of vanilla extract on my tongue yeah it tastes very warm yeah that's which is surprising because lower proof than the other two and this is <laughs> But seemingly a little bit hotter on the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it, it, it doesn't like, I'm, I'm not saying it, like, I don't think it burns necessarily, no, it, but it's so it, with cheap whiskeys and you know, you're doing a shot of cheap whiskey right? and you it get that just the like down. burn and yeah. you're like, Oh crap. I need a chaser just to get rid of Give this me some burn. Pickle juice. Right. Yeah. That's, that's not quite the same heat. This is more like a just a very warming effect that sometimes ethanol will give off. Uh, yeah. So don't think that if you have a glass or buy the bottle uh, that you're going to be constantly fighting the crap. I need to just shoot this down and get no, a chaser of definitely something. Not. It's... It, like I, I could, I could definitely very easily just kind of sip on this and relax with it. Yeah. Um, but it just, it's, it's a very, it's a very pleasant warmth. Like the, the taste is just very, very friendly, very warm, and just overall. It's uh, it's very oily. Yeah, you can see these yeah. long fingers coming down. I think wine people call those legs. Legs. Yeah. This one just kind of looks like a hand. I'll let you do that 
Let me know if it's any good. Put a, I, I put a good amount of water in there. So you you? you, you usually put less water yes, I than I do. You put I put just enough to get the oils to come to the top. Yeah. The the addition to the water doesn't doesn't really do much for me on this one. It, it made it a little more like uh, dusty feeling, you know, like it like it tastes a little more dusty, like sawdust or like that kind of well grain dry dust. To, yeah, so yeah. If you've ever been to a mill and you know you go to the mill and there's just dust. Yeah, you got corn dust, you got wheat dust, you got all these different grains just in mm -hmm. the air. Uh, it's definitely got that type of vibe, kind of a, a mill floor type. Yeah. Yeah. Dry, dusty yeah. grain. Uh, when I took that sip with just that drop of water, it brought out a ton of baking spices. Really? Like, I don't want to say, like, pumpkin spice. Granted, it is fall, and uh, pumpkin spice is on the mind a little bit. But this is more like a, a baking hmm. spice. Like, the rye kind of got pushed forward a little bit more. Yeah. I I really just, like, I, I tasted the same exact thing, but just turned down a little bit. Right. I didn't get anything, little, any, little not, like, no, nothing new. Just everything is just a little bit dialed back. Well, thank you for watching. I've been Steven. This is Steve. Like, comment, subscribe, all those other YouTube things. Have a good day. Woo.